there's evidence that this novel coronavirus can last on metals um, and plastic for several days. Um, it lasts less time on copper, but it can last, and it can last up to 24 hours on cardboard. How long it lasts on a surface is important, but how much is on that surface to begin with is also going to be critical. Most standard cleaning products should be able to kill all viruses, including coronaviruses. We actually have a decent amount of knowledge with the, quote, regular coronaviruses, as opposed to we don't have as much data with the novel coronaviruses like COVID-19. But there's no reason to think that the regular uh, good cleaning products that we have available would not kill COVID-19 as well. We need to use the cleaning products according to the manufacturer's instructions. So it's most important to read those instructions, read the fine print, and see how long the surface needs to be wet with that cleaning product. Most of the stuff that you buy in your stores, if you just use it the way the product recommends, it should be more than adequate to clean your high touch surfaces. Uh, you're not looking to make them sterile like in an operating room. You're just re really debulking and getting rid of most of the common stuff that will be there. The most important thing you can do is social distancing. So when that person comes and delivers your food, have them put it down, have them leave, and then you can go pick it up. When you pick them up, you can put them down on the floor in your kitchen, and you can go wash your hands, and then you can remove the containers, put those on the floor, and wipe those off with a disinfectant or just soap and water. Then go wash your hands again, and then you can empty those containers onto your plate. This virus, although it's causing havoc in lots of places, is actually a really fragile organism. It will break down with friction, with time, with exposure to with exposure to elements and air. And so, you know, a, a letter that's been mailed to you from and been sit, traveling through the postal service for a couple of days, the virus will be on. The main risk for packages and mail is likely uh, that the person delivering it is uh, sick. Open up the mail outside, dispose of it outside, um, wash your hands thoroughly when you come back in the house. If you're going to open a package, open the package outside, wipe down the contents, um, and wash your hands. Certainly the virus can wash away just like anything, just like dirt can wash away, right? And so, um, you know, if I, I, I wouldn't think twice about sitting down at a park bench uh, that, the, or say, you know, if I have to sit, if I, if I have to take the bus, if I have to sit down at a bus bench that's been rained on, I wouldn't think, tw I wouldn't think twice about that. Yes, there is data to suggest that the virus can exist on inanimate objects, uh, such as metals and plastics and clothing but it's not clear how much of that is really contagious to other people there if you're in the room that somebody is uh where somebody is ill from covid uh a known diagnosis yes their personal environment may be more contaminated so in those situations yes wearing some gloves while handling that person's personal belongings may be prudent <laughs>